Welcome to Truth, Money, and Freedom. Today is Wednesday, May 29th, 2019. A uh, quick story for you guys. Uh, Mueller breaks silence, does not want to testify, says charging Trump is not an option. Now, I watched the press conference, and that was st streamed live by Ellie, 1978. So thank you, Ellie, for streaming that live. But I want to tell you basically what happened here. Number one, Mueller resigned. Number two, he's closing the special prosecutor's office. And number three, this is the most important thing, gang, he inferred. He inferred Trump is guilty on Russian collusion charges. He inferred this. He didn't say it outright. But says that his office lacked the power to charge a sitting president with a crime. So basically what he's done, and this is my analysis, is he is literally dumping this into the lap of public opinion. Now, here's my, my take also. I don't think Trump was guilty of any collusion charges at all. I think that that was a concocted story. Um, the very fact that the dossier, the Steele dossier, was paid for, paid for by the Clinton campaign with all that stuff about, Ru you know, in Russia with Russian prostitutes and golden showers, all that crap that was in that dossier. Um, and Steele is going to have to answer for this. Now, there's all kinds of talks about, um, you know, Steele being, um, you know, under not under investigation, but certainly under suspicion of literally coming up with a work of fiction um, after, you know, the Clinton campaign gave him a bunch of money to, to fabricate a story and turn it into a quote-unquote dossier. So this is it, gang. It is over. It is officially over. The um, special uh, prosecutor's office is now closed after two years, $25 million uh, spent on this investigation. Um, they did not come up with any evidence in their report um, that shows any kind of Russian collusion. Um, but at the same time, he's inferring in his speech, he inferred that he um, basically uh, there was evidence against Trump, but they cannot charge him with it. And that was basically based on three people that they could not question that were Russian agents. Um, so that's you know, basically the basis of this. He's, he's basically, and once again, he didn't say this directly. He said it indirectly. If we could question those persons, we'd have all the information we need to prove that Trump proved, uh, was, you know, connected with the crime. So that's all he said. And, um, but basically that's his job is to come out and basically convict Trump in the minds of the American public. That was what he did. So, but like I said, it is officially over. So that nonsense with the whole Russian collusion thing is finally over. Okay, gang, that's all I have for you on this story. I'll go ahead and link this down below for you. You guys have a wonderful day. God bless you all.